I chose Real Lives. Um, I'm not a big fan of video games in general, but I was really surprised by a simulation game that used um, more static controls than just, you know, fly by the seat of your pants action, because I wasn't into that at all. Um, it was, it's basically a simulation game where you can assume the identity of anybody in the world, male or female, and you start at age zero and you can age progress them and choose various, um, make various choices for them in their lives, um, based on education, um, where they live, uh, marital status, all kinds of things. So you can make decisions for them. Um, facts pop up with links to various um, additional information that can be received. So I thought it was really kind of my kind of video game because it wasn't too much, you know, fast action. I don't like that. Um, so I really did like the fact that it was more of a static, um, factual, fact-based um, game. You could still you know, create your character, you still had um, creativity, but it wasn't really, really fast-paced. Um, I thought it really tied in very well with um, the environment, the environmental issues uh, assigned to geography and history, um, and also economics as part of the third grade curriculum and social studies, so I felt it really tied in with that. Um, as part of global learning, I was thinking right away of Daniel Pink and his um, right-brained thinking and how it tied in with gl the global citizen, being um, thinking about design, thinking about play, thinking about meaning, uh, that whole acronym there, um, symphony, story, it all tied in using um, the video game. Also, I thought about it for our lesson plans at as part of an extension we had already talked in our pairs about um, using video games as well as a board game um, to be part of an extension so I think this would be really relevant because you get to choose uh, characters from different wor uh, different parts of the world and really even switch gender roles um, and to really gain more empathy with that uh, with other people, and I think based on the article that I read about real lives, um, when they conducted the study, they found that kids in high in the high school that was studied did indeed have more empathy for other people in other parts of the world. I'd rate it um, a four. I don't know if the kids would or not because I think they're used to you know, really fast-paced stuff. I'm not sure if third graders would um, like it as much as I do. I don't know. Um, but I'm willing to try to find out and put it in as part of our unit.